Alrighty, so this is actually a morning meeting video, but it's coming on very late because the session already opened an hour ago. I apologize. Um, I climbed a mountain this morning. I'm not kidding. 1,000 meters in elevation. And so I'm a little bit late. Um, and yeah, that's just what it is, right? But let's jump right into it. And we are trying to somewhat ignore what's already happening in the markets, but that's always difficult to do, right? So let's take a look at gold here. I had drawn this butterfly pattern. Technically, this is still intact, right? This can actually also go higher. It might still be a butterfly. If we don't go above A, this is fine. But you know what? Just the way it looks, I'm going to delete it right here. It should look proper in my book, right? So what is gold effectively doing? It's just moving between those structural levels. That's all it's doing, right? But it's doing it with great conviction, it seems, and then it just starts turning. It does it with great conviction here, and God knows if that will persist or if it will do another UE, right? Um, I'm not sure. What I know is it's worth looking at the 10 minute chart when we get to a structure like this, because there might be a good setup there on a smaller time frame. And I discuss all those setups in those review videos, which you should definitely check out, right? So, um, yeah, I don't see much to do here in um, in gold. You can make a case for, I think, a godly harmonic pattern, which is if you take the high here, you connect with the low here, up again here, um, you get a 6, 9, 7. For godly, we have to be between 6, 1, 8, and 7, 8, 6. So that would that that would match pretty much the definition, and then the Gartley has to come. It has, it has to build a BC leg of at least six one eight, and that's definitely doing that because this is already nine five, and then it would go back to seven eight six, seven eight six somewhere here, right? But there's more than just one trigger for a Gartley pattern. And the second one is a one two seven two extension. That you draw from A to B. Let me just aim a little bit here. You can see this is the 1272 extension. Then the third thing you can do is you can draw so called ABCD pattern. So it would be AB. And I'm, I'm usually lazy. I don't, I don't clone it or copy it. I just move it over here. Then I see it would be down here. So now we have an entry box for the Gartley. And don't worry, I will make a video about the Gartley at some point. So now we know we want to look at this box. However, I really like to have at least two valid tr triggers. And just looking at the ABCD for a very early short here, even though it lines up so well with the structure, uh, I'll probably wait more for 786 or close to 786, right? But this is where a 10 minute reversal can happen in that box. Right. So you would look at you switch to 10 minute chart once it gets close to the box, then you just wait and take a look. Right. And then maybe you will catch the right entry trade to the downside. Right. And where's the target here? Um just like with you know ciphers and stuff, and there will be a video coming out about ciphers on Sunday. Um you will take um profits at 382618 and at the top of the pattern, right? So if you happen to, to enter it here, ah, wait, I always draw it in the wrong way. You would take your first part of your position off here at 3A2. You would also set your stop to break even at this point. Then you can collect some more profits here at 618 and the rest down here. Maybe you, you also keep a retainer uh, beyond or below point A. Um, in case gold breaks down quite a bit, then, uh, then yeah, then you can make some more money, right? So this is what a Gartley could look like. So okay, we we talked way enough about gold. So this is something to watch. In the ES, uh, it's ex it's doing exactly what I was already anticipating. I think I mentioned it um, yesterday, the day before. Um, this is a very sluggish week we're in, and it's just building a it's just a sideways pattern. The longer this takes with the sideways pattern, the less I like it. Because if you want to have a crisp 
harmonic pattern this should just go down i leave it on for now but i don't see anything to do here right i really don't see anything to do we can at some point start thinking about maybe putting a structure at this level right here um possible but i would just wait i would just wait okay and q uh -huh. and q is easing back a little bit interesting because we have this trend line here right so keep an eye on this trend line might get hit at some point and then the question is what happens right look at the 10 minute chart for an entry to the long side if you're expecting a bounce right if it breaks then there's another horizontal structure here it's only been you know established here but you know maybe you know it's 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 a, it's a young one so to say right so maybe it also gets a bounce here on undercut then a reversal so there's a lot of stuff here to monitor to the long side right and if it fails all of this well then be it right then you look at this one down here so that's nq but right now i don't see much to do here um you could draw fips and see if that really runs up to 618 and then fails. It's just an idea. In YM, kind of a um, similar situation. Um, you know, it's just chopping around, trying to keep the levels. Um, it touched 3A2 here and then it went up. Right? Uh, I would just leave it as is. I don't see anything interesting here and I don't see any patterns. Uh, Russell. It's also easing back a little bit. So now we have to actually extend the fifth levels. And I don't know. I don't think this is anything. Well, let me just try it here. Down here, 413. Okay. And up here, 155. That's already quite a stretch. But let's just keep an eye on this one. Maybe this will turn into a cipher. Possible. Um, bit extended here, right? But, you know, if it goes down quickly now, maybe that's something to at least keep an eye on, right? Uh, so I would just wait for, for this one. Um, would I draw a trend line? Let's try it. I think we have to anchor it here. Uh, I don't know. I will just draw it. Could be worse. And then the ducks. What do we have here? Still shopping. It's been the same for for days now, basically, right? So I, I I don't know what to do with this. Nothing. Oil. Also just moving between levels. I don't see anything interesting here either. Just one of this. That's it. Let's take a look at the VIX. Still very young. It's under 14 now, right? <laughs> under 14, yeah. And we don't know. With no news this week, it's just doing its thing. It's just sitting there. Nobody's scared of anything, it seems. And so yeah. So watch this this Garkley maybe here in, in gold. That box. Uh Yes, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that much. Same here. Trend line is still a bit away in the NQ. Why am not much? Maybe this in the Russell. That's off. No idea. Oil. No idea, really. Just doing stuff between levels here. Okay. I don't know if that was helpful, but um, it is what it is. It's a quiet week. So good luck, I would say, right? But seriously, if you if you don't trade at all this week, nobody will blame you. It's fine. I mean, yesterday the review video showed that it was a good day. You you could make money yesterday. It's not a problem, right? But then some other days, less money or no money. It's it's very slow, right? Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, and talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.